So let's dive into the Bloomberg Big Take, which focuses on one of the banks that did fail, Signature Bank, and specifically its pivot to crypto, which changed its focus and, as it turns out, its fate as well. Joining us now is Bloomberg's Max Abelson, who wrote the story on this old-school New York bank. And Max, Signature was based in Manhattan, but its identity was really more of an outer borough, scrappy local bank, as you write. So crypto seems a little bit out of its, uh, I don't know, purview. Crypto was out of its purview when it started, but that was a long time ago. You know, one thing that I want to say to you about our story, which I hope everyone watching reads, is, you know, at a time of kind of chaos, which this really has been over the last few days, I mean, it has, it's been nothing if not chaotic, it's so tempting as a journalist, and I think also as a reader, to sort of want to understand what's going on and want to have a really uniform way of describing things. The story of Signature Bank, you know, it is a giant collapse, the third biggest in the history of U.S. banking. So on the one hand, you know, the, the, I wish that I could tell viewers, you know, that the reason that this giant collapse happened is because of crypto, but it's more, it's more complicated than that. And I think we're still seeing it play out right yeah. now, what's going on. But the story that I told is a story about how they had been a completely different beast, this kind of outer borough, blue collar, kind of street fighting group of bankers yeah. and pivoted to something brand new that they, that they had not been, you know, that had not been their specialty. Well, Max, I, first of all, it's a wonderful story. And I, what I thought was intriguing wasn't necessarily just that leap into crypto, but also, I guess, well, I guess the company that some of these folks kept. That's right. That's right. The, the, the way I would describe it is it's, it's, I was really, I really had an interesting time reporting on kind of the flavor and the personality of Signature Bank. You know, these are, we are not talking about Goldman Sachs or Morgan Stanley. You know, on Wall Street, people can be so weirdly competitive about like which Ivy League, you know, graduate school you went to. And at Signature Bank, the chairman was teased. He was ribbed for having gone to Northwestern, which was considered, what? you know, a fancy pants school, which is. North, it, I went to Northwestern. That's not a fancy pants school. Well, Listen, we, we love North North people there. I'm <laughs> sorry. Love, Go ahead. Love yeah. North North. <laughs> but, but what was so much fun for me was writing about a place where, like, you know, the CEO ate deli sandwiches at his desk and he didn't believe in art. He didn't believe that uh, colleagues should have art in the walls because he felt, you know, it, it, was, a, it was a bad sign. It, it's a truly unusual place. And then what happened with it, the trouble that it got, it got onto in, in, in crypto is also an unusual story, too. So the, the net effect of all of this is that when regulators shut down Signature Bank, everyone was shocked, including people who used to work there, not to mention the executives as well. What was the one thing that did Signature in? Listen, you know, a lot of the piece is about this transformation from one bank to another. But the reality is a really important part of the story is that depositors ran. Mm. And we, we, we depositors ran and they ran fast and they went ran far. There was Friday was devastating. We spoke with an executive. One of my colleagues had an interview with, with one of with one of the depositors who ran, who talked about withdrawing I, I, millions and millions of dollars and bringing it to I, if I'm remembering J.P. Morgan and Bank of America. And, and that's a big part of it, but we're, we're st this is so recent, really just about 48 hours ago, that Max Reyes, a fellow Max on the finance team at Bloomberg, <laughs> um, that, that, you know, he's still reporting out, you know, on the one hand, Barney Frank, the famous regulator, uh, uh, or, or rather, I should say, the, the co-author of uh, Dodd-Frank, yeah. he board member, and he argued that, you know, the, the bank was looking fine. Max Reyes has a new piece out that says regulators looked inside the bank over the weekend and, and had a crisis of confidence. They did not like what they saw. So it's clearly a complicated story, but it's also kind of a dramatic one and, and uh, yeah. something almost novelistic about, about Signature. I really encourage everyone to go read this story. It has everything in there from the Winklevosses to the Trumps to uh, Alda Model even makes uh, an appearance <laughs> in this story. Uh, always great reporting. Max Abelson, uh, one of our best reporters here at Bloomberg. A look here at the demise of Signature Bank here.